So a few days ago, I come across this little gem from a couple years back, and fast forward a couple years forward, and knowing what we know right now of Kyle Kalinske, I'm just thinking to myself, oh, the irony, it bleeds so bad. Pat Robertson is going to answer a viewer question here, and he's going to compare atheists to swine. Whenever I post something on social media about my faith, many atheists comment that what I believe is wrong and try to argue about God's existence. Should I argue back and try to prove his ex existence, or should I just ignore it? <laughs> what do they say about a lion? You don't have to defend him, just turn him loose. <laughs> um, you, you don't have to do that. And, you know, the Bible also says don't cast your pearls before swine because they will turn and rend you. A swine is hungry for nuts. He wants chestnuts or whatever nuts he eats, and he roots in the ground, and you throw a precious pearl in front of him, and he thinks, that, that, that is another nut. I want to eat it. And he starts to eat it and the thing doesn't taste good. Then he gets mad and he turns around and takes his tusk and wants to gore you. Don't cast your pearls before swine. You talk about the social media. You've got everybody known to man out there involved. Why would you put your pearls out and why would you argue with those people? I mean, keep your stuff to yourself. This verse was quoted a lot in the comments section of Kyle Kalinske's video responding to Pat Robertson. 1 Peter 3.15 But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So in other words, Pat, grow some cojones and debate the atheists. If they have some questions, answer them and have a conversation with them. That is what this verse is speaking. Couldn't agree more, Pat. Keep your stuff to yourself. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> you might want to shut down the 700 Club, son, if that's actually what you believe. Why are you giving your opinions out there? Stop giving opinions! Oh, what? That's what I do for a living? Oh. Shucks. And, believe it or not, this is actually a point that I'm going to agree with Kyle Kolinsky on. He is, in this video, criticizing the fact that Pat Robertson is encouraging cowardice amongst Christians. Encouraging all of his listeners in particular to not debate atheists. And that is cowardice. And I'm not disagreeing with Kyle Kalinske. But, then again, Kyle Kalinske himself is also a coward refusing to debate Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, or anyone else that he considers to be a right winger. So... Guys, get it out of your fucking heads. I'm not going to debate Steven Crowder. I'm not going to debate Ben Shapiro because they, they're preposterous human beings. <laughs> There's a few things about that that I find really interesting. First of all, what are you talking about with nuts? <laughs> because he apparently likes to suck on them. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, you guys, but I have to have some fun in some way when responding to these Kyle Kalinske videos. A swine like nuts. They like chestnuts. And pearls. And then you throw a precious pearl in front of him, and he thinks... That, that, that is another nut. I want to eat it. And he starts to eat it and the thing doesn't taste good. Then he gets mad and he turns around and takes his tusk and wants to gore you. Okay, call this a nitpick, if you will, but Kyle, he specifically said that swine do not like pearls, that they will get mad and try to gore you if you try to feed them it. I mean, if you want to rebut somebody, Kyle, at least be a little bit honest about it, and don't try to put words in people's mouths. What am I talking about again? Uh. Somebody was definitely upping Pat's dosages for his meds before the show. What is, I mean, I guess those are references to things that I just was unaware of, like old school 1942 references. And, you know, the Bible also says don't cast your pearls before swine. Wrong again, Kyle. Pat Robertson was not referring to old school 1942 references when he was referring to swine and pearls. He was referring to the Bible for that one. 
But there's the other part about this, and the reason why I wanted to, to talk about it is, look at the message, okay? The message is, don't even bother. Don't bother debating your philosophy and your ideas and your beliefs, because you can't win. Sounds like the same thing that you believe in, Kyle. I'm not going to debate Steven Crowder. I'm not going to debate Ben Shapiro, because they... They're preposterous human beings. <laughs> I mean, let's turn around the arguments that Kyle uses in rebuttal to Pat Robertson. Instead of the, um, the argument being used regarding Pat Robertson and his Christian beliefs, let's use those arguments against Kyle Kalinske and his liberal beliefs. You know? I mean, that's the point. The point is, well, if you put it out there and people attack and people break it down, well, then you might have to change your opinions on things, and you might need to evolve as a person. Yes, Kyle. If you were to debate Ben Shapiro or Steven Crowder, they might break down some of your own beliefs, and you might have to change your views regarding some issues. We're against that. Yes. Yes, you are, Kyle. <laughs> Stay ignorant. <laughs> Stay with your face buried in a dogmatic thousand-year-old book that makes absolutely no sense. Yes, Kyle. Stay with your face behind your microphone and contained in your little echo chamber hiding behind all of your secular talk fanboys. Because we've done it. Yes, you do it constantly, Kyle, as you continue to refuse to debate conservatives. You know, we're miserable and misery loves company, so stay with us. How miserable are you knowing that people view you as a coward for not debating Ben Shapiro or Steven Crowder? Don't, don't go with the smart people. Now look, are there people online of all ideologies and of all beliefs that are unbearable and that are massive trolls? Absolutely. I deal with it all the time, you know? And But, but does that mean that you should never have your beliefs challenged and you should never try to, you know, work things out logically in a discussion and in an open forum? You, Kyle, have never had a discussion with Steven Crowder or Ben Shapiro. When will you ever have an open discussion, an open forum on politics with either of them, or any conservative for that matter, Kyle? When? Absolutely not, man. That's going too far in the other direction. Yes, you're going too far in the other direction, Kyle. You know, but I think that's, you know, the main point here is that when you're dealing with people who are religious and especially people who are fundamentalists of that, of a, any given religion, what are they going to do? They have to live in a cocoon. And I think the point here is, is that when dealing with Kyle Kalinske or any of the Young Turks and the Young Turks Network, they have to live in a cocoon hiding behind all their fanboys. And they have to not allow in dissent because it's so easy to pop that bubble. And if you were to allow in dissent, Kyle, how easy would it be to pop your bubble? Because the bubble is filled with so much absolute horseshit that you can't believe if you look into it with any, you know, serious level of concern for the truth. How much horseshit is your bubble filled with that you are unwilling to defend? So, I know that at face value is just a funny clip, but I actually think it tells you something very interesting about the mindset of people who are hardline Christians nowadays. They know that they can't be out there in the world just throwing out their opinions because they can't take the feedback when the feedback proves them wrong. I'm not going to debate Steven Crowder. I'm not going to debate Ben Shapiro. And I think that the clips right there of you refusing to debate Steven Crowder or Ben Shapiro shows the mindset of you as a hardline liberal that you cannot debate either of them because you cannot take the feedback when the feedback proves you wrong. Now obviously some people are going to get mad and start defending Kyle Kalinske on his reasoning for not debating Steven Crowder or Ben Shapiro. I don't give a crap for whatever reasons you have to give to me. He is being a hypocrite, Kyle Kalinske is. He has criticized Pat Robertson for not debating any um any atheists or for encouraging other Christians to not debate atheists. He is incur he is criticizing that bit of thinking, but at the same time, he takes part in that kind of thinking himself in refusing to debate conservatives. Kyle Kalinske is an absolute 
hypocrite. And he is a coward, too. A coward for refusing to debate any conservatives. I mean, has he, en has he ever debated anyone who is right-leaning? Considerably right-leaning. The most right-leaning that it gets that Kyle has debated is Dave Rubin, which he debated him about a year, a year and a half ago, something like that, back in 2015. He was more left-leaning back then than he is now. So, Dave Rubin was still pretty left-leaning for Kyle. And Sargon of Akkad, Sargon of Akkad is a liberal. He has just said in his, one of his videos why I don't criticize the right, that he doesn't care about the right. That he doesn't criticize the right because he doesn't want them to improve. That he believes that they are wrong on a whole lot of issues. Then the only issues that I know for certain that Sargon of Akkad is right-leaning on is national sovereignty. Defending Donald Trump for taking a strong stance on illegal immigration and the refugee crisis. But other than that, that's it. The guy said that he is a moderate on gun control, that he has basically no opinion on it, so there's that. And Sam Harris. Kyle Kalinske has also debated Sam Harris. How right-leaning is Sam Harris? The atheist powerhouse that all atheists look up to. How right-leaning is he? The most right-leaning that I have ever heard Sam Harris speak is regarding Ben Shapiro, or Ben Carson, excuse me. He said that he would rather vote for Ben Carson than Noam Chomsky. That's the most right-leaning that it gets, and maybe on some foreign policy issues, but all in all, is he really conservative, Sam Harris? The most right-leaning that Kyle Kalinske has debated is Dave Rubin, Sargon of Akkad, and Sam Harris, all of which are not even conservative. Has he ever even debated right-leaning libertarians? Has he debated any of the Ron Paul type of people? Has he ever debated Adam Kokesh or any of those other guys? Kyle Kalinske, you really need to get out of your echo chamber. Start debating people. I mean, if you keep on refusing to debate conservatives or right-leaning libertarians, how much water do your beliefs really hold? I mean, if you are saying that Christians refusing to debate atheists are insecure about their beliefs, that they know that their beliefs hold no water because they refuse to debate atheists, well, I got this one question for you, Kyle. How much water does your beliefs hold when you keep on refusing to debate right-leaning people. Hmm? Hey guys, if you liked the video, smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. If you want to see me respond to a specific video or article, comment down below with a link to the said article or video, and I might consider responding to it. Thanks for watching the video, and God bless.